Americans, they love baseball, freedom, and pigs. Why pigs? Pigs are pretty cute. And the fucking delicious. Where else are you gonna get ham, bacon, pork, ribs, and sausage? These beautiful beasts are mouth-watering gifts of the gods. But where do these sacred creatures come from? Well, they come right out of the mother's arse. Fairly soon after being born, do these savory, adorable fellows begin to grow. With many litters, some of these little guys get the rough end of the stick and don't have all the capabilities their brothers and sisters may have. Even with a little nudge from their mother, she soon realizes the hopelessness in her daughter's survival, and as soon as she enters the world, she quickly leaves. Not to worry much, we have many other piglets alive and well. They're growing stronger and stronger each day. And look over here, don't they seem to be having a jolly good time? And look at Big Sally over here. I bet you'd topple right over if you dropped the kids right out from your bottom. And before you know it, these little piglets begin to grow and they become adolescents. I bet if you look closely, you'll find a couple of pimples and I guarantee they hate homework as much as every pimply teen. And just like young go getters, they enjoy a good tussle in the mud. People like Drew Locke take personal care of his pigs, and here on the open farm, our happy swan get to enjoy a full and free life. But like all good things... But when one thing ends, another can begin giving way for other possibilities and deliciousness. Thankfully, someone still knows a way around a pig with Chef Michael Soroldi cutting, pulling, ripping, and pushing till every entity of the pig is devoted and cut and ready to be cooked. Once we get the pig shimmed away, we can be preparing one of our first meals from Old Bess here. A couple of greens from the garden, a loin, and some slow roasted pork all from the same pig. Soroldi here mixes the pulled pork with some of the herbs and seasoning for a tantalizing mixture which will go right inside our loin. A quick nodding, some of the Dijon rub and it goes right in the oven. Cooked to perfection, Soroldi pairs it with some bok choy and more Dijon with a little heat to go behind it and a little floral essence to top it off. Reaping the fruits of his labor, Soroldi soaks it in the beauty of this life cycle he once took part in. Old Bessie here may be off in pig heaven now, but it lived a wonderful, happy existence free from the corporate abuse and profiteering. And in the right hands, pigs can leave these lives day to day with their bodies being used 100% for various meals and in delicacies that we enjoy on a daily basis. We can enjoy these wonderful creatures knowing that their short lives were not in vain and most certainly not wasted.